Hello again. In this video, I would like to explain how you download high resolution images from Artbreeder because it isn't completely obvious. Now, I have an image here, and of course, I can just treat it as I would any other image. I can, in this particular case, right click and save image as, and then the dialog comes up and I download the file wherever I would normally download the file. Uh, however, that will give you a very low resolution image, pretty much what you see on the screen here. If you were going to send it to other people in your RPG campaign via the internet, that would probably be good enough. But perhaps you might want to get it professionally printed, and for that you would need something that's at least 300 dots per inch and this is going to be way too small. So if you look at the little control panel you can see a button that seems to mean download. If you click on that not much happens. Um, depending on which browser and computer you're using either nothing at all might happen or as has happened here a dialog will come up which tells you that you have or tells, tells me that I have two high-res downloads remaining uh, I think you get four per month if you have a free account so if you're going to be downloading lots of high-resolution images you really are gonna need to buy one of the pay, paid accounts but anyway press OK and get rid of that but it's not super clear where you actually go to download the picture. Well, what you do is you go to the top right hand corner here and press this the three dots here. You go to downloads. Of course, if it's a video, you would go to video downloads, but in this case, it's a still picture. So I click on that. Um, I'm uploading a file at the moment on another computer, so my connection is not very fast. But anyway, here we are. and if I click on that particular one, or of course on the other two as well, that will eventually load up the high resolution image and I can, as you can see, that's that's much bigger than the original picture. And then I can save image as or however you generally get images, you can copy it and paste it into Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you do, but that's how you do it. The, the point is that it's a little bit not obvious once you press the download button where you're meant to go, and, uh, and that's what you do. Thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time.